Woo, it is time to clean this thing off, all that dust up under there. All right, today, this is time. We're going to be taking out the air intake, you know what I'm saying, and putting the new one in there. But before we do all that, we all know we got to take out this right here, the box. Uh, we got to take the shocks off. Take everything on the top engine, have the top of the engine off, you know what I'm saying, just to put this on and make five horsepower. Now let's get into it. Now y'all know all that was wrong that I just said, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we about to get into it. Yeah. Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. I done through with something super vicious. Who is this? Mr. Everything's the name. Can't do change in the game. Doing my thing in my own lane. Every time you see me, I'm hitting them switches. I done through with something super vicious. Who is this? What's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Everything bringing y'all low riders and horsepower. Rain, sleet, hell, snow, shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. Today, we gonna be putting that uh, that new intake on there. You know what I'm saying? I've been waiting to do this for a minute. Um, finally got some time. And so we about to put that thing on. I'm gonna show y'all step by step. I seen a lot of uh, videos that I watched for a while just to see. And a lot of people just kinda drop their cars off or they will uh, install a kit but really won't show you how to take off the old stuff as well so i'm gonna show y'all how to take off the old stuff and how to put on the new stuff and have some fun you know what i mean so uh hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but if you have thank you very kindly i appreciate all y'all watching these videos so everybody who shares it everything i appreciate all of that so i just want to let y'all know that now we're about to get on into the fun part of it all right but first things first you do know that we gotta take off uh, the sensor attached to the intake tube. Now take off that clamp right there. This clamp right here. And uh, the stock box. You do have a brand new hose to go to that. I don't have to use it. You know what I'm saying? That brand new in there. I don't have to use it, but I might. I just, and I might not. I don't know. Depends. Next step. All right. Now that I got that air intake tube off, now it's time to get the sensor that's connected to that. It's now on the ins it's still on the inside of the uh, air tube. And there we are right there. Here's the sensor. We got to get that up out of there. Never took that one out. You know, back in the day when I did stuff like this, I never cared about sensors or anything. I just ripped out whatever I wanted to rip out, put a cone on that bad boy, and and have fun but you gotta take this up out of there if you don't want all them check engine lights and that thing coming on now for some reason on all the youtube channels nobody ever shows you really what to do not that i've seen there could be but i haven't seen it when it comes to this sensor right here it's a grommet that comes in your air intake kit and that's how you put it in you want to also make sure that it's facing you not to the side because it measures the air volume like that where you can see that sensor like dead center but to take it off the old one you got to be real careful if you don't want to buy another sensor you're gonna have to there's a little tab turn this that little tab right there you see that notch right at the top i'm gonna point to it right here there's a little tab that's there, and so you just take that sensor and just turn it, wiggle it, you know what I mean? Because it's been on there so long, nine times out of 10, that it's not gonna be easy to get off. So that's the way you take that bad boy off. Make sure you put your clamps on that's going with your, that's going on to the throttle body. Got the uh, air vent hose right there. Got the new one on. I might have to cut it a little bit, but uh, next thing to do to take out that we got to take out is the stock uh, factory box And I've never taken this one apart on this particular vehicle So hopefully this is the only screw that I got to take out right here And then there's that same hose that's on the new intake. That's that same one right there So that's what we about to do Yes, this is what I'm talking about 
That is the only screw. Take that hose off, comes off easy. You can put a clamp on it if you want, but it really doesn't make a difference. And pull that bad boy out. Now, about to go ahead and assemble the intake and put it all back together. All right, so here's the next step. Um, I probably will get some type of like uh, sealant, like the silicone, like that RTV gasket sealer. Put it in there, around there, so uh, there's like no little bit of air seeping out or whatever. Go ahead and connect that sensor back on there. And again, make sure that, that the color tip part of the end of the sensor, the intake sensor, make sure that it's facing center uh, towards the throttle body. Don't, it shouldn't be to the side at all before I put it on, I made sure. And then I, I did take the brand new hose because it does fit this part better. Um, and it's it was like a little bit too big, I think. So I went ahead and uh, switched it. I will end up probably putting like a little small clamp or something on there in the future. But next thing we got to do is bring out that box. Now, this piece right here, the cone air filter, this is a two-piece. So it's not just this piece right here. It's the cone filter and this piece sits down inside of it. And... Uh, old school ways a lot of people might have put like some gasket sitting around here but this stuff is so tight i mean that was like over 20 years ago when uh when i was doing it so um nowadays all they got is a little clamp you go ahead and tighten that down around the filter we didn't already, i didn't already put the the stock up not the stock the aftermarket uh shield in there it does have rubber around it i put that on there it comes with it, so you will have to put the rubber on there. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like an accordion style seal. So it's all in there and everything. All I gotta do is, uh, let me see, you know what? I think it's supposed to be a clamp right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the clamp on that end right there too, cause you want it all to be tight. So let that be a lesson to you. I show you the mistakes too. I don't just try to make it seem like everything I do is perfect. I forget stuff too. You know, we, we mess up too. All right, now, had a little bit of difficulty. Let me back up here. All right, had a little bit of difficulty putting this coupler on right here because it goes on the other side. Uh, one thing I want to tell you, I should have told you from the beginning, make sure that all of your clamps are positioned how you want them before you put everything in place because if they are not, oh, you're gonna have some fun. And what I mean by fun, ain't fun. So, this little ripple right here, you have to bring that all the way in, just one of the ripples. I was trying to put it on without bringing that all the way through, but you put on one, bring one of those ripples from the boot through, and then everything is ready to snug down. This is a real big clamp, so it's kinda all over the place, but I'm about to tighten that down. So I got all my clamps in position, and now it's time to put this bad boy in and see what it do. All right, now everything's in place. Have not tightened nothing down yet. Just do a little checklist. Now your sensor, you want to make sure that it's facing center of the throttle body the right way. Clamps are all in place. Everything's in place like I want it. And the screw that you use for the factory box. You need that to put that all in place. Your rubber seal, if you got an intake kit, then they always usually provide that. You shouldn't have no pieces left over unless the company you went with was generous enough to give you an extra piece. You shouldn't have nothing left. So, I'm about to tighten this down, and next thing you're about to do is start it up. All right, now, snug it down real good, you know what I mean? Move on to the next one. All right, now, this here was not, I mean, it was easy, but the only hard part was getting every point to be adjusted at the same time. Every single point, every coupler, every uh, clamp, it has to be in unison with each other before you snug everything down. I was snugging down here, 
when this was cut off and I was snugging out here, this was off. So I just kind of started right in here, got this right first, didn't get it super snug. And then made sure that this stuff was lined up as well. You want to make sure that all your clamps don't actually, that you want to make sure that when you clamp everything down that there's not still holes sticking out because the couplers could get jammed up some kind of way and you won't know it till you look at it again and then you see that you done messed up somewhere. So we got the sensor plug back in, got everything nice and tight, everything snugged in. So you already know what's left to do. Start this bad boy up. I had to, this thing was super, super dusty. I ain't do like no polish and nothing like that, but I did, uh, I did go ahead and just wipe it off just a little bit. I mean, this thing was covered in dirt. You know what I'm saying? I had to just take a few minutes and, you know, wipe her down real quick. I had to, uh, wipe her down real quick and, you know, just think for every time that, you done been at a light, and a dude was with his girl, or a girl might have been with a girl, or a dude thought just because, oh, I got a turbo, I'm finna smoke him, and it's a boat. Or a dude goes, oh, this car costs $100,000, and then that light turns green, and you hit the gas, and you notice that they take off ain't the same. And you in front, and surprised, sometimes I am, I just had to take a pause for the calls. Maybe y'all know what that feel like. You know, when you hit that gas and you just win. I just had to take a minute and say that. Now we're about to go ahead and actually start it for real. like to hear that new sound you know when you hit it and you hear that little whoosh, whoosh, you know that little sound that the air intake make it sound pretty good you know what I mean sitting there nice and clean that thing running good yeah I'm trying to keep these these little you know these little mods and things I got pushing forward oh yeah All right, y'all. Well, you know, when it comes to the air intake, I just say this. When it comes to any mods that you put on your vehicle, um, if it has a computer, you know, uh, you won't really get the full benefit of whatever that mod is unless you tune it with the computer. You know, that's why the computer is there and you got all the sensors. Uh, only way to offset that stuff is to literally get it tuned up. Um, I do plan on taking it to a dyno shop sometime in the near future, but... Until then, I really just want to get like the Diablo tuner because I want to be able to turn it on and off. I don't have like any type of um, uh, computer system to where uh, basically I could just put in different maps and stuff like that. So the Diablo tuner is the best because you could just plug it up, turn on the power that you need, and 
then it will give you the benefit of that air intake. But typically I like, this is things that I really like to do. When I first used to get a vehicle, I mean, I would go ahead and just put all kind of mods and stuff on it and new exhaust and all of that. I just hadn't had time because, you know, life changes. So um, you're not really going to get the full benefit. I know it will give you some horsepower, though, being able to suck in some more air and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, you get the real benefit when you go ahead and get the stuff tuned up. So that's the plan, and uh, I'm going to keep these things pushing around here. Rain, sleet, hell, snow, or shine, nothing, and no one stops the grind. Not even the haters on the sidelines. I am Mr. Everything, bringing y'all low riders and horsepower. Till next time, I'm out.